but I was 13 years old and didn't know any better. So I agreed to sell my soul to the devil, to slice my left thumb because it's closer to your heart, and you have to bleed onto a document. And then you have to sign the document in three places in your blood. So the blood of Jesus washes away all sin, but not mine. And I sign that. Jesus died for everybody, but not me. And I sign that. And on the final page of a five-page document, I agreed to sell my soul to the devil. Um, it's in a coven meeting where the entire coven was there. And I was in a white robe. It signifies you're losing your innocence. And you're baptized, full submersion, in a vat of human blood, pig's blood, and human urine. Come out in a um, black robe, and it signifies being baptized into a world of darkness. Um, they sit you in a chair, you know, and I get to work for them. I help rock stars sell their souls through the Illuminati, you know, and I'm thinking, you know, this is such an easy job. You know, there's so much stuff to do, but I mean, I get to meet rock stars, I get to party with rock stars, I get to, I'm meeting actors, you know, and everybody that meets me, they meet me, I'm in the costume. So I, I don't realize that, you know, th there's a place called Bohemian Grove out in California. I get to go there. Possible to do. I mean, if there's anybody out there that thinks I can't be redeemed because I sold my soul to the devil, you didn't sell your soul to the devil because it's impossible to sell what you don't own. This is a true incident that happened at Anvers in 1578. There lived a woman who had surrendered herself completely to the devil by signing a certain contract with her own blood. Anyone who willingly signed that contract with their own blood would thereafter belong to the devil. Few days after signing the contract, the woman felt miserable. She realized that what she had done was a terrible act. She wanted to get back to God. Therefore, she reached out to a wise and kind confessor. The confessor asked her to meet Father Henry and get enrolled in the Rosary Confraternity. The confessor also instructed the woman to make the sacrament of confession to Father Henry. Father Henry was the director of the Rosary Confraternity in Anvers. He was one of the fathers of the Dominican Friary. Remember that this woman had signed a contract that allowed her to be the servant of the devil. The devil would not let go of her, easily. The woman went in search of Father Henry. She met a Dominican father but it was actually the devil disguised as the father. The devil scolded the woman mercilessly and told her that she can never get back to God. The woman did not know that it was the devil disguised as a Dominican father. She was filled with grief because she was told by the devil that her contract could never be terminated. The woman left but she still believed that she will be able to receive God's mercy. Few days later, the woman went in search of Father Henry, for the second time. This time too, the devil disguised itself in the form of a Dominican priest. The woman went to priest begging for mercy but the priest yelled at her ruthlessly and asked her to go away. The woman did not realize that it was actually the devil that was deceiving her by taking the appearance of a priest. The woman was deeply saddened but she still did not give up. She went in search of Father Henry for the third time. God saw that the woman sincerely wanted to repent. By his divine providence, the woman was saved from being deceived by the devil. She finally found Father Henry. Father Henry was extremely kind to her and encouraged her to make a sincere confession. He urged her to surrender herself to God's infinite mercy. The woman made a good confession and she got enrolled into the Rosary Confraternity. She started praying the Most Holy Rosary very frequently so that the devil would let go of her. One day, when Father Henry was offering the Most Holy Mass, Our Lady forced the devil to terminate the contract that the woman had signed with her own blood. In this way, through Our Lady's command to the devil, the woman was finally delivered from the devil's shackles.